Hi friends. I am here at the house we're getting ready to sell. We're doing some clean out and hence the dead tree in the background. But anyway, I just really felt that I needed to sit down for a couple minutes and talk to you about something because I really get a lot of you are super mom. I could never do that. Um, I don't know how you have such patience. You must be a saint. Um, you know, I only have two kids and I'm going crazy. You must have it all together. I mean, these are the kind of things that people tell me. And I just wanted to clarify with you that we are the same. And today, the reason that it's prompted me to make this quick video for you is that I was at Costco today with my kids who I had um, threatened in the parking lot to not even go into Costco, but to just buckle up and leave because we had so much bickering and fighting that I just didn't even want them to be in public with them. Um, but we went in and we were walking along and lo and behold, we met a family who were there with their seven children. The baby was just born last week and the children were all standing nicely by the cart and the mom and dad were smiling and I thought to myself, well, there is a large family who has it all together. And it was on the way home that I thought that just a week ago, somebody said to me, well, you just must have it all together. <laughs> if you talk to my husband or any of my close friends and you hear the day-to-day -day challenges that I would face that I don't share with you, you'll know that I have the same story as you. I have yelled at my kids today. I have um, been tired and not wanted to do the things that I needed to do. I am just like you. I am learning as I go along. And I do not think of myself as a large family mom because I still see myself as somebody who's trying to figure out the right way to parent. Every kid who comes is their own person with their own personality and their own need to um, be understood and learned. And so it's continual opportunities to learn how to parent again. I do not have this all figured out. I do not have super amounts of patience. In fact, I frequently lose my patience. I lose my temper. I end up yelling at my kids. I have to say I'm sorry again and again. And they say I'm sorry to me. They say I'm sorry to each other. Um, my children fight and um, complain and um, disobey just like yours do. There is nothing different from our situation to yours, whether you have one or two kids or you have 12 kids. Um, I, I really believe that the human condition is the same and that we all just are working to try to do our best to figure out how to handle what we have in our laps right now. So if you are wondering then why in the world do we have seven kids, it is because we are just believing that God said children are a blessing. And even on the days where we can't see it, where I'm pulling my hair out, where I feel like I am not mothering these seven the way that I should, um, that's beside the point. That's putting it all on me. That's saying that I am the one who's capable of raising up seven kids to be awesome followers of Christ. I'm not able to, I can't do it. You can't do it either. This isn't about us. We are here to nurture them. We are here to model our faith in front of them, to help them to grow, to teach them what we can. And we are going to make a ton of mistakes while we do it because we are humans and we are sinners. But whether you have a couple children or whether you have a dozen children, it's all the same. Parenting is hard. Motherhood is hard. Whatever you choose in life, it comes with challenges. If you are a business person, it is hard. If you are a delivery man, it is hard. Life is a challenge no matter what it could be. So don't let that fear keep you back from walking forward into whatever God is calling you to do. Don't let your feelings of inadequacy at motherhood prevent you from having a large family. You're not going to be perfect. And to think that you are waiting for some type of, of perfection of being able to handle the children that you have before you have more is saying that you that this is about you and it's not it's about God working through you about God using you to reach your children in spite of yourself 
And as long as you continue to try to submit to him and to allow him to use you and work through you, then you're going to be fine. You are going to be able to handle every child that he gives you because he has called you to this task and he promises to equip you. So that's my attempt to encourage you and me today. Um, my children are playing much happier now that I've apologized for yelling at them as they yelled at each other. And we are going to go forward and do our best to figure out how to live this life in a way that glorifies God. Day by day by day with our mistakes and our victories, um, we're going to do our best.